So Umesh Yadav and Ravi Jadeja to begin day two here for India. That Cummins with the new ball. Australia still looking for that final wicket to get themselves into bat. Wait. First ball is a dot. Yep. First runs of the day. Four of them. 260 for nine. I always find it bizarre the way this game handles the last wicket partnership because they always seem to be the most successful one. Wait. Yep. Should go back into the stumps, or if not, I'll get the tight one. Edge Smith. Can he get yeah, to yeah. it? Oh, he's put it down. He's put it down. Jeez, Australia works so hard to create that opportunity. This time, Uzi. Oh, that's yeah. much harder, but he's taking it. So a workhorse effort from Cummins and a terrific catch from Kawaja eventually ends the Indian innings as they're all out for 262 in just 15 balls on the second day is all it took for Australia to take that final wicket. Jadeja, 70 not out, uh, just behind Shubman Gill's high score there of 79 for India in the first innings. But a really good stand of 70 runs between Jadeja and Yadav. And it's given India a reasonably good score to defend after a challenging first day. Oh, and around the wicket early. This is the challenge for Warner. The right arm around the wicket. Saw Stuart Broad very successful in the 2019 Ashes. Oh, and already Warner under the pump. Whoa, that's some free runs. Five wides will be Australia getting off the mark. Yep. Oh, that's away. Two. And four. Warner off the mark. Edged. Gone. Yeah! A wicket in the first over. And Warner will depart. He pushed at it, it went fast. And going low was Virat Kohli. It's one for nine. Brings Manus Labashain to the crease. So overgone, which means Kawaja will be on strike. Shami the bowler. Around the wicket again. A little bit of shape. Suraj bowling some express pace early. Wait. Manus can't get it through. Yep. And away. Through the covers, they want two. Ball is in. Rob Shane will get it, and he's officially off the mark. Yeah. And this time he errs just a fraction straight, and Kawaja will pick up his first few runs. Oh, short. He tried to pull it, Uzi, but it's uh, ended up being a wide. And some free runs for the Australians. Now he gets it through cover. Nice drive, should be worth two. I think about the third, set off for two. It's actually been quite a similar start between these sides and how their innings began with a bit of indisciplined or undisciplined yeah. bowling. Getting some freebie runs. We saw that happen off Mitchell Stark as Manus hits this to the boundary. Yep. Oh, Manus. Looking sharp. Goes along the ground, doesn't quite find the boundary. He'll pick up three for his troubles. Yes. Oh, Kawaja off the back foot. Eeks it out of there. Oh, he's gonna have to run hard for the second. Just gets back. Yes. Oh, he's whipped that away, Manus. And that's four. I don't think he meant to give it that much air time. Oh, bowled him. Yadav strikes. Kawaja gone. He's just hit the top of his middle stump. He's out for 11. It's 2 for 53. Brings Australia's best batsman, Steve Smith, to the crease. Well, second best if you think Manus Labashain's better than him at the moment. Mesh Yadav, good change of the bowling. Oh, it's Steve Smith. Bit of class. Can they run him out first? Ball! Very close. Going upstairs. I think he's home, though. Just. 
Scramble to get back, Steve Smith, not out. Yeah. Oh, great shot from Steve Smith. Smashes it through mid-wicket. All the way to the boundary. Oh, yep. punch through the offside from Smith. Outfield slowish. Rolling, rolling, rolling. They'll save the boundary. The Australians will come back for three. Oh, yep. Smith, he's taking it on a little bit in the air through mid-wicket. It's racing towards the boundary and again... India do well in the outfield. Keep it to three. Oh, that is nice. Didn't even need to run, Manus. He found the boundary. Oh, shot. Stand and smash. Steve Smith says, have some of that. And that is the 50 partnership between these two. There might have been some bat on it. There was. Jeez, there wasn't much. Might have just flicked the toe. Let's have a look. So many two noises. Keeper Barat does a nice job. Manus out for 40. It's 303. Travis Head is also an interesting prospect for this particular match as well as the Ashes as he does play some very attacking cricket especially in the Australian summer and I guess over in Pakistan and even in India he plays a lot of counter punching type cricket aggressive shots as he reverse swept his second delivery as Australia in the session there at uh, 107 for three off their 25 overs very interestingly Poised game again. Obviously, Australia would have loved to be two down, but a couple of balls just before the lunch break. Manus falls to Dadeja. Indian bowlers doing a nice job there, but so the Indian bowlers sharing the load as well. Five overs to most of them. Waiting. Yep. Yes. Wait on was the call. But Smith's on drive ends up being perfection and all the way to the boundary. Yes, that is in the gap. Again, another one of those like wait on calls, but Travis Head has found the cover boundary. Smith. Ho oh, ho, oh, he goes big. <laughs> That's his 50 with a huge six. Wow. Run a ball 50. I say this man can't play in short form cricket, especially T20s, and he's already going at, he's going at 50 from 50 here in this particular test match. Yep. Oh, and he's nicked that for four. That's just, the good players, sometimes they get a lot of luck. And he leaves that one to defend. Three for 148. Oh, wow. Travis Head. Has brought up the 50 partnership between he and Steve Smith, the huge six. As we said, this is the partnership that could take the game away from India and really quickly they've put on these 50 runs. And he's chopped it on. Wow. Shammy into the attack and straight away gets the wicket. Shammy the man to get the breakthrough. Just sort of wobbles seam and... Held up a little bit in the pitch. Smith out for 62. It's four for 154. Yeah. And again. And again. Oh, no. It's not going to go there, is it? Is it going to get there? Oh, yes. Three fours in a row here from Travis Head. I don't know if he's thinking about slowing down just yet. As he finds the boundary yet again, just easing the bat through it. Down to third man. 16 from the over. Yeah. Oh, it's a pretty good time to be batting, and you can't be bowling half volleys like that if you are Muhammad Shami. Travis said he's eating them up at the moment. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. It's just middle of the bat sort of stuff at the moment. And this is what we've talked about. Australia have worked in partnerships. 
One for nine, two fifty-three, three for one hundred three, four for one fifty-four, and now four for two hundred and six. They haven't lost more than one wicket at a time, and it's held them in good stead to be in a strong yep. position in this match. This is two more for Cam Green. In fact, they'll get three. Oh, it's close. Does it pitch in line, I think, is the real question. If it does, I think this is out. And it did pitch outside leg, as we suspected, because this was very close. Impact was in line. Wickets were going to hit, according to that, right there. So... Oh, yes. he's got it through. Yes. Four more. Right in the air. Yeah. And taken. Travis Head trying to play a bit too cute. Maybe a shadow. Oh, maybe a back foot. No ball. I don't call him in this game. Just got it off the bat. And he'll be disappointed. It's the Indian captain who's able to take it. Five for 227. Seven. One left hander replaced with another Alex Carey now to the middle. Oh, oh, yep. There's a bit of bat on that. And this might be his 50. It is. I think it actually hit the pad first. The umpire's given it as a run, so 50 from 38, Cameron Green. Handy knock. Australia 30 behind. Yes. Oh, tight. Oh, yeah. Run out. Brilliance in the field by India. He took on the arm of Mohammed Siraj and he couldn't win. Cameron Green out for 61. It's 253 for six as Pat Cummins makes his way to the middle. Yep. No, and Carey just continues about his business with uh, almost a bound with it. But now is the chance for India to get on top because Australia, we know their lower order has not really performed in recent times. So Carey plus the bowlers, if they only eke out 50 between them, that's not a big lead. India can get back in the game. All of a sudden, you feel the pressure in the field lifting. Oh, it's come back in. Has it hit him in line? This is very close. Umpire says not out. Wouldn't be surprised if this gets reviewed. And it's going to be. Question the Indian side will be hoping for is, is this umpire's call on the impact or does it hit in line? Cummins gets his front pad a long way out and it looks like he might have got outside the line. Pitching outside off. Impact is outside off. And they're going on to clip the stumps. So India will lose the review. And that takes us to the end of the second session of day two. Australia 270 for six with a slender lead. It's Carey and Cummins, the two men in. 21 from 39, Alex Carey. Pat Cummins, four from 20. The run rate definitely for Australia has slowed up since uh, Smithhead and Green obviously departing. And those guys going at a fairly uh, aggressive run rate, which has seen Australia go at over five runs and over, or thereabouts, for their 270. Uh, India need to bowl Jadeja a bit more, I think. Just the one sort of spell for him of six overs, one for 15, a couple of maidens in there. Shardul de Kerr, also very expensive at none for 77. So it's an eight-run lead at the end of the second session on day two. Speaking of, Ravi Jadeja back into the attack first over after the break. What can he do? Oh, nice bowling. Yep. Oh, that's all the way to the boundary, I think, from Carey. It is. Oh, top edge. And it goes all the way. Oh, one bounce to the rope. Yes. Oh, that is a great shot from Carey. Oh, it's saved on the boundary. They want to come back for three. They're not going to get it. 
65 overs gone, 299 for six. Yep. Oh, Cummins with the on drive, and that's a 300 up for Australia. All the way to the boundary for four. 303 for six, lead up over 40 now. Edged and out. Carey falls seven runs short of a half century. A massive wicket. Shami gets the breakthrough. Bottom edge from Carey. Good take by Barat behind the stumps. And it's seven for 314. Edged out. Stuck on very next ball. The Indians on a hat trick. More specifically, Shami. And they go bang bang for the first time today. So we thought Stark would be aggressive. He was, and he's out. So Nathan Lyon facing the hat trick ball. Oh, and he gets nowhere near it. And Lyon just swings at that one. Yes. And he finds the boundary rope. Yep. Oh, Cummins. Squeezes it outside of the bat. Through cover. Oh, that's the best of the lot of them from Cummins. Just one bounce. Oh, he's gone even bigger. It's all the way for six. And the Aussie skipper's hit 22 from the over. Have a look at the smug little smile on his face. Whack. Oh, there's a huge cry of catch. But they won't be catching that. And Cummins brings up a 50. Ten fours and a six. Exquisite stuff from the Aussie skipper. Edged and taken. Shami gets his fourth. It's the Australian skipper who has to go. So he goes for 53. Raises the bet. Does a nice job for the Aussies. Scotty Boland comes in now. He's someone else who likes to throw the bat around. And that's straight off the glove in the air. And it's somehow gone through for one. Oh, he's got it through the gap, Scotty. Beats mid off, finds the boundary. Oh, line, has he got it over the top? He has! More runs! Top edge, four. And that'll take the lead of the Australians above 100. Catch it. Oh, yep. this should be out. Bowling chips it. Yadav picks up his third. Australia all out for 379 in what was an eventful innings to say the least. The Aussies batted with some real aggression. The middle order scoring heavily for Australia with three half centuries. Smith, Green and Cummins. Carey, Head and Labuschagne in the 40s and then a cameo knock and at the back end there with a 31 run partnership between Lyon and Boland. Saw Australia all out for 379. So at the end of the first innings for each team, it is Australia with a 117 run advantage as we head into the second innings for India. Rohit Sharma and Shubman Gill, a big job ahead of them. Mitchell Stark once again with the new rock. He delivered in the first innings, taking out Sharma in the opening over. Can he do it again? Oh, not this time. And that's a great over from Stark. It's a maiden, none for none. Edged. Oh, and it goes to ground. Labuschagne, good fielding. So it is a tricky little period here. India only have 20 minutes to face. Stark and Cummins. Yep. So it'll just be about survival for them. Yep. Oh, it's in the air for a moment, but the first runs for India off the bat of Shubman Gill. End of the second. It's uh, one without loss. Edged, and it's through the gap of everyone for four. So Shubman Gill playing at a couple. Oh, catch it! I don't know how that's missed everything. Ten with that loss. Oh, Sharma almost nicks on as well. 
Mitchell Stark to buy the last over of the day. India 14 with that loss. Will they end yep. unbeaten? Gill gets himself off strike and he says, Captain, you do it. Yep, yep. Oh, he's got it through the gap, Sharma. That's four. Mitchell Stark, final ball of the day. India 19 with that loss. And that's how they'll end at the end of day two. Still 98 behind Australia. So mentally, less than 100. Maybe a little bit of something to go for for them. But it really was a day dominated by the Aussies who took a significant lead into the end of the first innings. As you can see, Steve Smith, Cameron Green. There wasn't one individual performer for Australia, but a host of them that did score in between 40 and 60 as they ended up on 379 of 74.2 overs. Australia dominant on day two, and India in with the bat, trailing by 98 runs at the conclusion of day two.